Back now, my guest, Gloria Allred, and the one person who probably knows her better than anybody else, her daughter, Lisa Bloom, a fellow attorney and author of the bestseller, uh, Think Straight Talk for Women to Stay Smart in a Dumbed Down World. Lisa, welcome. Thank you. She's quite a feisty one, your mother, hasn't she? She's been giving it to you, hasn't she? Yeah. <laughs> I've been I, watching the green She gives room. it to everybody. My mother is brilliant and passionate and tenacious, and really, nobody can beat her in a debate, so I don't even try. Well, you, I mean, you're like two peas in the pod here. I certainly we are. No, I'm going to be very. Well, she's the new improved. I'm going to uh, be very. Un I'm going to be very ungentlemanly, but for one good reason. Uh -oh. I think people will be shocked by the answer. Tell me how old you are. I'm seventy. You see, you do not look seventy. Does she? I'll answer too. I'm fifty. So I that's mean, even more ridiculous. I, I don't believe that. Women, you are defying you know, normal age conventions. It's not a crime to get old. Although a lot of women in this town <laughs> seem to think that it is. It's silly. We should be proud of our age. We should be healthy and take good care of ourselves. Yeah, it's a lot and easier. It's, it's, a lot easier being proud of your age if you look as glamorous as you do. Well, then. you know, especially considering the alternative to getting older. <laughs> yeah. Getting older is just great. As a matter of fact, in this country, I think women should get medals. For getting older. You, your mother's a fascinating creature in many ways. She is. Because Thank you. have I just harassed you by calling <laughs> you a creature? Sweet. What a good girl she is. Now, here's the interesting thing about you. So you haven't had a, a vacation since the early 80s. Is that true? And no one can remember she when doesn't. I took a vacation. You never last. have a vacation. I've had a vacation. Well, years ago, I took my grandchildren on vacations oh, when they were younger. You just don't have vacations, as a matter I don't of want vacations. Why? Because I have too much to do to fight injustice that still exists. For my clients, you have a for women and minorities. Car. Is that true? Uh, I do. <laughs> a battered old ten-year-old. Well, that's one of my clients. It's cars. not so bad. It's, it's, it's a nice so car. It's a nice car. You don't, apparently, you don't collect art. You don't really collect material things. I, I she don't just care got about a couple that. pieces of art. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. She does uh, most go people out and who are arts, artists I mean, wouldn't call them well, art, but in any event, no, uh, I, I guess bicycles. my point is that material things don't seem. People may look upon Gloria Allred from all they've heard about you and think, oh, she's only in all this for the money. I don't get that sense when I've researched your life that. Money is the motivating factor for you. I just don't. Justice is the motivating factor. You know, providing a voice for the voiceless, power for the powerless, hope for the hopeless, and justice. That's yeah, what Lisa. I am well, all about. about tell tell me you, about this if, sort of if, passion if, she has. Money, you're not going to be a plaintiff's civil rights lawyer. And I know from working with my mom for nine years that many of the cases that she does, she does for free. Okay? The way you make money as an attorney is you work in a gigantic law firm and you represent Fortune 500 companies. You can be guaranteed at least a couple million dollars a year in a partner partnership in a firm like that for years and years and years. So it's not about the money. It's about justice. Do you think when she represents a three-year-old in a haircutting salon case and an economic injustice case, you know, that's a profitable case? It's just not going to be. Of course. <laughs> but, then I, but then I come back to the Tiger Woods case that you heard us debating earlier, right. where I kind of think, why would this woman, who does all this incredible stuff, take on a porn star to okay. basically flim-flam Tiger Woods? <laughs> okay, really? Can I, let, me, let me respond to that, Piers, because... What do you my, think? I'll tell you what I think. My mother represents farm workers. The press doesn't cover those cases. No, but tell me about she, Tiger Woods. No, but Woods. let me explain, because she represents Holocaust survivors. I know. Cocktail waitresses and age discrimination cases. But wait, okay, on this show, we spent, what, maybe 50% of the time talking about the Tiger Woods matter. Mm -hmm. That's one case in a career. Why does she get blamed for the media's shortcomings? The media obsesses about one or two cases, which are important in and of no, themselves. No, 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 no. But to the exclusion of whoa, 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 cases, whoa, whoa. the gay rights case, she took I the California Supreme it, Court. I'm not letting you pin it on the media. The media did not parade this adult entertainment star but the, but the to media the world. Covers it over years later. We're still talking me, about it blah, here. Blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, because I think it's an interesting. <laughs> For half the interview. It's an interesting moral dilemma. And the fact you're both so exercised about it confirms I've rattled the cage. No. The point is, why aren't we spending half the show talking about age discrimination or farm workers because or gay rights or animal rights? Or the age which, discrimination. Which is that we most want. of what Wait. she does. And if the media here's doesn't want to cover point. those stories, why does she get Lisa, blamed? Lisa, here's my point. Her career is very balanced. Here's my answer. Precisely the reason why Gloria's career is not centered all the time in terms of the publicity it attracts that you've just quoted to me is that you're not coming in here saying ask my mum about the Tiger Woods porn star because you instinctively know that's not what she's proudest of she and that's my very point. proud of it she's been defending it for the first half of the show were you I as, defend it too. were you as proud absolutely you really? know what you know what because every woman 
deserves a voice and deserves to have her rights enforced. And I think we have a real... Even if she then goes out finish. and makes another finish. movie about may, his text here, messages? May, may I finish? Because... Doesn't it cheapen everything else? May, may I finish, yeah. please? Okay. We have a real double standard in this country about the porn industry. The men at the top who make billions of dollars mm -hmm. from it are received in the highest circles. The women at the bottom who are the performers in a legal industry are, you know, sneered at as if they're nothing, as if they're just dirt. And if they have a press conference, you know, everybody likes yeah, to you're, make you're, fun you're of them. The same thing your mum did to me. She's trying because to, that's the reality. No, you're trying to make out that I'm casting some moral judgment over her career well, path. Why did I'm you not. saying porn star as if that's relevant? I'm just <laughs> wondering whether when your mother takes on a case like that, which is obviously so high profile, obviously going to get so much attention, <clears throat> when you see this victim as she's like being portrayed, go on to make another movie well, so what? in which but she wait, uses Tiger Woods in messages. To, but you want her to go on welfare she, instead she of working at most the people, profession most or the occupation would say that she's involved how in? How hurt and how much of a victim is but, she but, but, but if we, she feels she can go and make a porn movie out of it? But you know what? A lot of working people are hurt by things and they keep working because they have to work. That's the reality. So she's not just going to roll over and die. She can mm. be both hurt and continue to work. And, and that's the reality. And exploit it and commercialize and it. And she's a victim. And why don't you spend as much time talking about the fact that Tiger Woods should apologize to the women that he hurt? He didn't apologize to her. Not to, he, didn't, no, to he didn't apologize to, to Jocelyn James had a private meeting with her or at the minimum called her on the telephone Apologize and said to a woman I making... acknowledge yes let's have a break let's come back and talk about you two your relationship and whether you think your mom should find love get married again oh. or whether now she just wants every man trampled and despicable <laughs> gender Anderson keep